Shalom, family and Messiah Yeshua. Shalom to the worldwide YouTube and social media community. This is your beloved brother Shaul Yisrael coming back again with another Yahweh inspired message. I'll be reading from the book of Matthew, chapter 7, and starting verse 13. Matthew 7 and 13. Again, Matthew 7 and 13. Matthew chapter 7 and verse 13 and I read Enter you in at the straight gate for wide is the gate and broad is the way that leads to destruction and may there be with going thereat because straight is the gate and narrow is the way which leads unto life and few there be that find it. I read that to say this there are two paths There are two ways. There's the way of the straight gate. And there is the way of the wide gate. The way of the straight gate. Is not. Clearly accessible. Unless you humble yourself. Unless you sacrifice your will. Because to enter the straight gate, one must sacrifice and give up your will and receive holy and completely the will of Yahweh. Whereas. The wide gate. Is clearly and easy accessible. To all those who are self-willed. And those who reject. The will of Abba Yahweh. The straight gate is the way of perfection the wide gate is the way of imperfection corruption perversion abomination the wide gate is the way of free will if you choose to have your free will your unrestrained unrestricted will then you have and are entering that wide gate but if you choose to enter the straight gate then you choose to sacrifice your will, to kill your will, and to surrender your will on the altar of Abba Yahweh, that you may receive the will of Yahweh. The way to life eternal. The way to enjoy sweet, blessed Eternal fellowship and harmony and us and oneness with Yahweh is through that straight gate. But the way to destruction, the way to eternal torment is the way of free will, the way of self will. And that is the wide gate. See, it is the wide gate that is clearly accessible. Because the wide gate, it leads to that broad road that allows for variation of opinion. 
belief, view, and doctrines, but that straight gate, it leads to that narrow way that only allows for one view, one doctrine, one standard, and that is the will of Yahweh. If you choose to enter that straight gate, then you are choosing to reject free will. You are choosing to reject your standard, your view, your opinion, and you're choosing to receive the will of Yahweh. To access the straight gate, you must first enter Yahweh's Son, Yeshua of Nazareth. And to enter Yahweh's Son, you must believe on Him. Which means you must obey what He instructed. He instructed in John chapter 3. And verse 3 and 5. Verily, verily I say unto you. Except a man is born of water and of the spirit. He cannot both see and enter the kingdom of Yahweh. To enter the kingdom of Yahweh. Is to enter into fellowship, harmony and oneness with Yahweh. And... Yeshua HaMashiach explained that to be born of water and of the Spirit, you must be baptized in His name and you must receive the blessed baptism that comes from only one source, and that's Abba Yahweh Himself. So to enter the straight gate, you must be born again. You must repent of your sins. You must express True remorse, regret, and guilt for wrong action, wrong speech, and wrong dress, and turn from wrong speech, action, and dress unto submission unto the word of Yahweh, and you must. Be baptized in water in the name of Jesus Christ. That you may receive the pardon of your inherited sin. That you may receive the pardon of offense against Yahweh. And that you may receive a renewed nature. And you must seek Yahweh patiently and humbly and zealously in prayer, supplication, and intercession for the blessed baptism of the Holy Spirit and the initial and external proof that one had received the blessed baptism of the Holy Spirit <coughs> is speaking in another tongue as Yahweh permits one to speak. This is how you enter the straight gate. You must be born again. You must obey Acts 38. For if you have not obeyed Acts 38, if you have not repented of your sins and was baptized in water in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach for the pardon of sin and the regeneration of your soul and receive the blessed baptism of the Holy Spirit as initially evident by speaking in another tongue as Yahweh permits one to speak, then you have not entered the straight gate and you're not walking on that narrow way. Religion Religion enters you in that wide gate. Religion causes you to walk on that broad road. If you're religious, if you're a practitioner and adherent of religion, Whatsoever religion is, if you're a practitioner of Christianity or Islam, uh, Judaism, Buddhism, Confucian, 
if you're a practitioner of religion or weakism or weaken, you have entered that wide gate and you walk on that broad road that leads to eternal torment. Because the wide gate is the rejection of the will of Yahweh. Let me say it again. If you're entering the wide gate, then you are rejecting the will of Yahweh. And you're embracing completely your self-will and your free will. But if you choose to enter that straight gate, then you're choosing to receive the will of Yahweh. You're choosing to submit totally and without reservation unto the will and the standard of Yahweh. See, the straight gate evolves around the will, the presence, and the person of Yahweh. Whereas the wide gate evolves around the will of self. If you're entering the wide gate, then you have aligned your will with the will of Satan. Because Satan, who is Hillel or Lucifer, he was the first to embrace totally self-will and free will. He was the first to reject the will of Yahweh. So if you're walking through that wide gate, you have aligned yourself. You have joined yourself. You have made yourself one with Hillel or Lucifer. If you're, if you're walking through that wide gate and on that broad way, you do not have fellowship. And harmony and oneness with Yahweh. And if you're walking through that wide gate and on that broad road, you shall not inherit the kingdom of Yahweh. You do not have fellowship, you do not have harmony, and you do not have not oneness with Abba Yahweh if you have entered that wide gate and walked on that broad road. The only way and only road and only path to fellowship, harmony, and oneness with Yahweh is that straight gate and that narrow way, which is the way of perfection. Only the humble of heart shall enter that straight gate. And to enter that straight gate, you must be born again. To be born again, you must repent of your sins. By repent of your sins, you must express sincere, true, and set apart remorse and regret and guilt. For wrong action, dress, and speech that contradicts the word of Yahweh and amend wrong speech, wrong action, wrong dress to submit to the word of Yahweh and you must be baptized in water in the name of Jesus Christ that you may receive the pardon of sins, that you may receive that renewed nature that prepares you for fellowship, oneness, and harmony with Yahweh. And you must receive that blessed baptism of the Holy Spirit as initially evident by speaking in another tongue as Yahweh permits one to speak. 
then you see the blessed baptism of the Holy Spirit or the Salafar Spirit or the Ruach HaKodesh then you enter into fellowship harmony and oneness with Yahweh you become sealed unto Yahweh you become empowered to live a separate lifestyle to enjoy fellowship harmony and oneness with Yahweh you must enter the straight gate in order to be one with Yahweh you must enter the straight gate you must walk on the narrow way to be in alignment with Yahweh you must enter the straight gate many of you both Yehudi and Goyim Jew and Gentile you are presently entering that wide gate and you're walking on that broad road that is leading you to destruction that is leading you to eternal damnation the spirit of the living El is calling to you to leave that wide gate and leave that broad way and come enter the straight gate they may walk on the narrow way that leads to life eternal the spirit of the living El Yahweh is calling you to repent of your sins and to take on the name of his beloved son Yeshua HaMashiach and water baptism that you may receive the pardon of your sin and the regeneration of your soul and to seek him for his blessed baptism of the Holy Spirit and have initially evident by speaking in another tongue as Yahweh permits one to speak it's time to forsake free will. It's a time to forsake your will. It's time to receive and submit wholly and totally and without reservation unto the will of Yahweh. It's written in Matthew chapter 20 Matthew chapter 10 and verse 38 Matthew 10 and verse 38 and I read and he that takes not his cross and follows after me is not worthy of me. To take your cross means you have died to your will. To take your cross is to embrace the suffering and the death of your will. To follow after Yeshua is to submit wholly, completely, without reservation unto the will of Yahweh. If you choose to follow Yeshua of Nazareth, then you have chosen to submit all to the will of Yahweh. Following Yeshua means you are centered and you evolve around the will of Yahweh. Matthew 10 and verse 38 And he that takes not his cross and falls after me is not worthy of me. He that finds his life shall lose it. He that loses his life for my sake shall find it. So if you seek to save your life in this world and you seek to preserve and hold on to your will you shall inherit 
eternal torment for the preservation and the embracing of your will Is the wide gate and that broad path so if you seek the as the scripture says buy your life you shall lose it but if you lose your life for my sake you shall find it if you give up your will then you shall be saved there's two choices there's damnation and there's salvation damnation is the way of self will free will Salvation is the way of the will of Yahweh. Your choice is free will, which is self will, or the will of Yahweh. It's your choice. You can't have both. You can't hold to free will. And try to hold on to the will of Yahweh. You either reject free will. And reject. And, uh, and reject the will of Yahweh. Or you reject free will. And receive the will of Yahweh. It's your choice. You, 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 you either love the will of Yahweh. And you hate the will of self or you hate the will of Yahweh and you love the love free will you can't have both because free will leads you to destruction free will leads you to damnation it's time to Give up your free will. Give up your self will. And surrender. All of your heart. All of your body. All of your effort. Your passion. And your ability to the will of Yahweh. The way to eternal life is the way of the evolution around the will of Yahweh. As the planets in the solar system evolve around the sun, our will must evolve around the will of Yahweh. Our will must become one with Yahweh. So you have a choice, my beloved family of the Israelite community. You have a choice. Either reject free will and thus reject the will of Yahweh or reject free will and receive completely the will of Yahweh. This is your choice that's presented to you. And if you choose to receive the will of Yahweh, this is what you must do to enter the will of Yahweh. You must repent of your sins. And you must be baptized in water in the name of Jesus Christ for the pardon of sins 
and the regeneration of your soul. And you must receive that blessed baptism as initially evident, as initially or exclusively proven and shown by speaking in another language as Yahweh permits you to speak. And once you have been born again, you must follow on to learn the ways of Yahweh that, that you may become mature in the renewed man that our Yahweh may deal with you, that he may reveal unto you his purpose, his calling, his mission for your life. It is written in Deuteronomy. I believe Deuteronomy chapter 29. Um, Deuteronomy chapter 30. Deuteronomy chapter 30. Deuteronomy chapter 30 and starting at verse 8. Deuteronomy chapter 30 and verse 8 and I read. And you shall return and obey the voice of Yahweh and do all his commandments which I command you this day. And Yahweh your El will make you plenteous in every work of your hand, in the fruit of your body, and, and in the fruit of your cattle, and in the fruit of your land for good. For Yahweh will again rejoice over you for good, as he rejoiced over your fathers. If you shall hearken unto the voice of Yahweh your El to guard his commandments and his statutes, which are written in this book of the law, and if you turn unto Yahweh your El with all your heart and with all your soul. For this commandment which I command you this day is not hidden from you, neither is it far off. It is not in Shalim that you should say who shall go up for us to Shalim and bring unto us that we may hear it and do it. Neither is it beyond the sea that you should say who shall go over the sea for us and bring unto us that you may hear and do it. But the words very nigh unto you in your mouth and in your heart that you may do it. See, I have set before you this day life and good and death and evil. And that I command you this day to love Yahweh your El, to walk in His ways and to guard His commandments and His statutes and his judgments, that you may live and multiply, and Yahweh your El shall bless you in the land where you go to possess it. But if your heart turn away, so that you will not hear, but shall be drawn away, and worship other Elohim, and serve them, I denounce unto you this day, that you shall surely perish, and that you shall not prolong your days upon the land where you go where you pass over Jordan to go to possess it. I call Shalim and the rest to record this day against you, that I have set before you life and death, blessing and cursing, therefore choose life, that both you and your seed may live, that you may love Yahweh your El, and that you may obey his voice, and that you may cleave unto him, for he is your life. And the length of your days, that you may dwell in the land which Yahweh flew unto your fathers, to Abraham, to Yitzhak, and to Jacob, to give them. I read that to say this. So it is written, choose life. Yahweh has set before you life and death. Life is the will of Yahweh. Death is the will of self. If you want life, you must reject free will. 
If you want the will of Yahweh, you must reject self-will. For free will is the will of self. And as written again, pride is the beginning of sin. Self-will is the beginning of sin. Free will is the be beginning of sin. When you choose free will, then you choose to reject the will of Yahweh. When you choose free will, you denounce the will of Yahweh. So choose the will of Yahweh and reject free will. If you want salvation, you must reject free will. O oh, Yahweh, in the name of your beloved Son, Yeshua HaMashiach, I thank you for another opportunity and the unction to speak forth your word of truth. I beseech you according to your great mercies and love and favor towards your separate nation renewed Israel that you draw whoso will that you have chosen before the foundation of Shamaim and Aretz to both hear and receive your word that according to your great power you let miracles, wonders and signs be performed by your word I thank you Yahweh for granting your separate ones strength, wisdom and the courage to walk with you in the valley of this shadow of death. Thank you for fighting against and posing our enemies who surround us. And I beseech you O Yahweh they continue to sin among our enemies. Even sin among my enemies here in Roxford, North Carolina, in Person County, your great, perpetual, incurable, and unceasing plagues, curses, terrors, and torments, till they are destroyed in our midst. I praise you. I glorify you, O Yahweh. So be it. So bid shalom. Remember, family, please show your support by sending a donation to either my Cash App or PayPal or send a donation to Western Union or MoneyGram. The information will be in the description of this video, which will be on YouTube or Spreaker. Please pray for your beloved brother. May Yahweh bless all, that will, all those that will hear and receive this message of truth. I give Yahweh glory, honor, and praise. Love you, family.